Last year I bought a drone and since then I've been flying in some amazing locations. But one place I remember in particular was when I went down to my local park to fly early one morning. There was a frost on the ground and it was freezing. But after 30 minutes of flying, I packed up and came home. And when I checked out the footage, I was really impressed with the results. And I've wanted to do some more filming from this time for a while, but I just haven't had the time or the weather hasn't been quite right. But I do have an opportunity coming up because in the next nine days I'm going to be travelling through some of New Zealand's most beautiful landscapes. My goal is to create a short cinematic video with my drone. So, before I do that, I need to go and pack. We'll give this a go. Okay, I think I have everything I need. I'll be using this little dongle to transfer the data from my drone uh, to the cloud using an old iPhone. Now I've just got to work out how I'm going to bring it with me and keep everything safe. Getting a flight in so early on the trip was a definite highlight. I wasn't expecting it and we'd only just met the owners of the property a couple of hours before. But they generously allowed me to fly my drone around for a bit and look a bit on their property. My drone didn't have a full battery charge so I was only in the air for a few minutes but for the time I was up there it was great fun and it was really good to test everything out and see it was working properly. Over the next couple of days I was hoping to get some more drone footage but this time I was going to have my drone charged and I'd be ready. With everything working and the weather looking promising I was looking forward to what tomorrow was going to bring. But it wasn't what I was expecting. It brought a broken SD card. Sadly when I got to the end of the day before I had time to back up my photos from the trip my card stopped working. I lost about 300 photos which was pretty devastating. So going forward on the trip this meant I couldn't take photos and videos at the same time. I would have to take videos on my drone, back them up to my phone and then I could take photos with my camera. So I wouldn't be able to take as much footage than I had previously planned because I'd have to be switching between the two devices. But the trip goes on.
over the next few days we continued traveling around and seeing all these amazing places but it still wasn't quite what I wanted. Eventually when we were coming, I was coming back from a walk um, I noticed there was a grass clearing next to this lake we're staying at and it was a perfect location. Without waiting long, I set my drone off and this is what I captured. Thank you for watching this video, I really enjoyed making it and I, I think if I learned one thing from it, it's back up your footage as you go along. I was really disappointed about losing that footage and you know, I guess I learned my lesson the hard way. I hope you enjoyed this video, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.